CBS 6 Sky Tracker, sponsored by Baugh Auto Body. Good morning. We are glad you're up early with us. As you can see across our region, it is mostly cloudy. That's the white that you see here. Into the green, that's where we're getting scattered showers across the mid-Atlantic and into the southeast. This is because of a very weak upper-level disturbance that's swinging over us right now and squeezing out a little bit of moisture. And in some cases, it's a nice rainfall. Welcome rain again. This is an Appomattox County where we're getting the best rainfall. Scattered light to moderate showers extend across other parts of southwestern regions in our central Virginia area. I know we're trying to break down the regions there. So into Charlotte County, still getting some moderate rainfall. This continues to move up into Cumberland County. And nice, steady, heavy rainfall now moving into southern Buckingham County. This is going to keep on tracking to the east and northeast. So places like Dillon and Cumberland and up toward Cartersville, you guys are certainly going to benefit from this over the next hour. Temperatures are into the upper 50s and the lower 60s at 64 at Williamsburg, 59 at your neighborhood in Tappahannock and also out at Louisa and up at the center of the universe in Ashland. Out of the airport for us here in Richmond, it is overcast, 63 degrees. Winds are going to stay light and variable today. As I mentioned, this is not a powerful storm system that's coming through. There's not a surface front associated with it either. Winds are going to stay variable, less than 10 miles per hour. But while this upper level energy is passing over us, we will stay mostly cloudy and have that opportunity through the day to squeeze out at least some scattered showers. It's not a washout, but you will want to keep the umbrella handy. Our highs this afternoon will make it into the mid to upper 70s. As I put this into motion on our future weather, let's check the clock getting closer to your lunch break. Still mostly cloudy, still getting some scattered showers around. And let's pause here mid afternoon as your kids are coming home from school. They may want to have those rain jackets or umbrellas is ready for the scattered light showers that we will be getting in the area. But let's jump ahead to the end of this week because that's where I'm tracking our next decent chance for rainfall. Let's check the clock. This is going to turn into late Friday afternoon and evening as rain moves in. And there's also going to be a powerful, a really strong cold front y'all coming in with this. So strong that by Sunday morning as that colder air filters in, I think we may see temperatures drop down into the 40s for you come Sunday morning and parts of Northwest Virginia could see their first fall frost. Rob Reba. Wow. Time to break out the old Christmas mm -hmm. sweaters, huh? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Not the Christmas. Uh, who topped the